I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Well, I guess I just have to keep dreaming because I'm in shorts and t-shirt and it's midsummer and I really don't think we're gonna get any snow this Christmas. And yes, I, I did grow up in Denmark and I have had white Christmases and there is something about white Christmas. Um, and I do miss that part of it, but I do prefer the warmth of New Zealand uh, Christmases. So, it is Christmas time. This is the last newsletter before, uh, before Christmas. So I want to use or take this opportunity to um, wish you a fabulous uh, Christmas time. Uh, and thank you for watching, reading my newsletters uh, this year. And being a coach, um, being passionate about growth, I just can't help but um, use any opportunity I get really to to create growth and to support growth for others. And Christmas is just one of those times that uh, is also an opportunity for that. And particularly when we are having challenges of, of, of any kind is, is one of the best opportunities uh, for us to grow and learn. And for many people, Christmas is a challenging time for, for whatever reasons. Uh, for some, it's because work uh, or business leading up to, and there's a stress that comes with that. For others, it's getting everything organized, the family organized, and the stress that may come with that. For others, it is all the buying of presents. Like, what shall I buy for that person? And oh, and, and, and the um, challenges and stress that may come with that. And for others, it's a financial stress of how we're going to get through uh, through this time. So most people experience at least one of those and some all of those. Um, and when we are experiencing challenges like that, uh, that is uh, in a way a gift. So it is Christmas, it's time for gifts. So you can choose if you're faced with any of those things to use that as your Christmas gift. So it's a gift to look, to look uh, closer at ourselves in, in, in that journey of um, like that, that tension that we might create or that we might experience because other people around us are in that space of tension. And it's an opportunity to just stop, just for a moment, to just pause, have a meditation snack, have a deep breath and change the focus to appreciation, to gratitude, which is also part of the, for me, part of the essence of Christmas. And when we can have that moment of gratitude for that which we do already have, for that, that that we have around Christmas in this case, it then becomes easier to deal with the other sides of it that are more challenging. So this is an opportunity, it is a gift. And I'm inviting you to, to grab that if, if it is there for you and see what you might be able to learn with that. And it is also a time of giving. And giving is not just giving presents. Giving is also giving an ear. It is listening to other people. And when you see other people who are stressing out about Christmas in any shape or form, it is also an opportunity to give them the gift of giving them a smile, giving them a thank you, or in any other way that, that uh, you might be able to help others um, who are getting a little bit uptight about this time of the year where we really should be more relaxed. So, with that said, I uh, thank you again for this year and um, wish you a wonderful, peaceful, joyful, and all kinds of wonderful things for this Christmas time coming up very, very shortly. Thank you again for this year and catch you next time.